doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Day Tripper by The Beatles. Surely one of the greatest guitar riffs of all time, this one. Real classic, kind of fun one to do as well. It's not particularly difficult, it's got a bit of single line stuff, a little bit of power chords, some dominant seventh chords, and I'm going to show you the bridge and the solo as well. In fact, I'm going to show you two different ways of doing it, because I've seen a couple of videos of George doing it different ways, so I'm going to give you a choice of uh, which one you feel like doing. Uh, let's start off with a close-up of the main riff. So there you have, that is the main riff. I'm using all down picks for this, but you might want to use alternate picking if you like. It really, I don't think it makes a lot of difference, but it seems watching videos that uh, George is doing it with all down picks, so I reckon that's a good place to start. So we're starting off with the open E string, the thicker string. Then second finger in the third fret of the thicker string still. And then third finger in the fourth fret. First finger in the second fret of the fifth string. Then first finger moves over to second fret of the fourth string. And then we play the open D string, open fourth string. That's the first half. it by putting first finger second fret of the fifth string then fourth fret of the fourth string now I'm using my little finger but you could use your third finger if that's easier for you it doesn't make any difference then back to first finger then open D string then first finger second fret fourth string so the whole riff getting the rhythm right as well is really important so uh, let's have a little chat through the rhythm so the count would be three four one two and three and four and one two and three and four and one two and three and four and one two and three and four That riff's kind of outlining an E7 chord. If you were doing the rhythm guitar part, start off with a regular E chord, add the little finger down in the third fret, uh, third fret of the second string. Give it a bit of a strum. That's what you'd be doing if you were doing the kind of the John Lennon part there. So uh, the intro is just staying on the E chord, but once the verse starts, it does it twice on the E, and then it moves it down one string for the A. So we got the got a good reason. everything down toward the ground a string. So we're starting off with the open A string. Okay, it's exactly the same shape. Move it down. Okay, so twice on the E, move it down one string for the A7 just once, and then back to E7. And then we start in the chorus. We're starting off with an F sharp 7, so a regular F sharp bar chord, lift off the little finger. We've got our F sharp 7, but we're mainly just playing the thickest two strings anyway for this. Playing even eighth notes, all down strums. One and two and three and four. Two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Then up to A7, which is at the same shape again at the fifth fret. One, two, three, four. Then down to G sharp seven, so just down one fret. One, two, three, four. Then all of the way up to the ninth fret. One, two, three, four. That would be a C sharp seven, of course. And then back two frets to B7. Two, three, four. So that sequence again from the F sharp. She was a day. Trip. 
stripper One way ticket, yeah It took me so long To find out I found out now Let's talk about the rhythm in a little bit more detail So we're just even eighth notes One and two and three and four and But every second bar there's a little Little hammer on with the first finger Okay, so just lifting it off, playing, and then hammering the first finger down. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now on the A7, it's one, two, and three, and four, and. Okay, so just uh, holding the chord a bit longer on beat one. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and. Now when we get up to the C sharp 7, it gets a little bit more strummy, it's losing the old down picks, and we have this, one, two, and three, and four, and. So we're kind of doing an up strum from around the third string. It's not exact. One, two, and three, and four, and. So just a down strum on beat one, one, then down, up, down, up, down, up, down to the B7, one, That whole thing. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we're back into the main riff. It plays through the verse and the chorus again, and the second time round we have the solo slash bridge. And uh, at the bridge, he's playing the, our regular riff, but starting on a B. And there's a couple of different ways of playing this riff. Uh, when I was first researching the uh, book, the pop song book there, uh, I saw a video of him playing it this way. But just doing a bit of research, because I always have a quick listen again uh, before I do these videos, I've just found another video of him doing it here. So I'm going to show you both of them in a nice little close-up again. All just down picks and we'll cover the solo after that. Here's the first method here, starting off with a little B power chord. Then using the third finger, fifth fret of the fifth string, up one fret, first finger into the fourth fret of the fourth string, then fourth fret of the third string. Now shift the whole hand down two frets to the second fret of the third string. And then it's third finger, fourth fret of the fourth string, first finger in the second fret of the second string. Back to the third finger, fourth fret, fourth string. Then second fret, fourth fret of the third string. And here's the second way, which I've just seen in another live video of the Beatles playing the tune, which is this. So this one up at the 7th fret, little B power chord again. Then 1st finger goes from the 5th fret to the 6th fret of the 5th string. Then 3rd finger reaches out to the 9th fret, still on the 5th string. Folds over for 9th fret of the 4th string. 7th fret of the 4th string. 2nd finger now, or 3rd finger, it doesn't really matter, onto the 9th fret of the 5th string. Little finger, 11th fret of the 4th string back to the 9th fret of the 5th string, then 7th fret, 9th fret on the 4th string. Okay, so it's doing that riff three times, no matter which way you want to play it. Uh, and then we have... So 
if you're playing the riff up here, you'll probably do the two chords here, and if you're doing the riff down here, you'll do the B chord there. Either way, it's very, very similar notes. I'm going to choose to do it up here, I think, for now. So we've got this on beat one, two, and then on beat three, it's just a very subtle slide from the fifth fret to the fourth fret of the second string, then fourth fret on the third string, back to fourth fret on the second string. Now we've got the second finger in the fifth fret of the second string, a tone bend. Then third finger is going to play the fifth fret of the first string, and then you release the bend. Okay, or... And then we move right up the neck to the twelfth fret on the second string. Okay, so 12th fret three times, very quickly first, and then again, then 10th fret on the thinner string, back to 12th fret on the second string, 10th fret, 12th fret on the thinner string, full tone bend, back, 10th fret, and then two notes very quickly on the 12th fret second string. Okay, and then, to be honest, it's a little difficult to hear what's going on, but I think it's this. Which is just the uh, fourth fret of the third string and the open B string, which is the same note with a bit of vibrato. Gives a little bit of chaos there for that big build, and I think it's just on beats one and three. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we're back into the riff again. Really, really good fun tune this one, and definitely one that you should be trying to play along with the record and trying to cop the feel of it, you know. Except for the bridge part, it's all pretty straight. And again, with the bridge, if, you, if you're struggling with the solo part, just be playing a B7 chord, which is the kind of the John Lennon part. Uh, but definitely I'd recommend having a go at one of those two ways of playing the riff. I'm kind of leaning toward doing it up at the seventh fret now, which is annoying, because in the book I was leaning toward doing it down at the second fret. So uh, I don't think it really matters. It'll be the same notes. So it just depends on what's easiest for you. So. Uh, Hope you enjoy this one, and I'll see you for plenty more lessons and songs very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.